really is so little we know about space. It's as intriguing as it is unsettling. But the more astronomers study the stars, the closer they get to reaching answers. And the more and more questions crop up like a game of whack-a-mole. Today we're discussing some of the coolest and creepiest anomalies spotted out in space by astronomers. Let's get right into it. And we're starting off the list with something pretty exciting. Possible alien megastructures on Tabby's star. So Tabby's star, scientifically known as KIC 8462852, which I think is a much catchier title. Tabby's star, just a bit of a mouthful. Uh, but it's become a pretty popular in recent years. Astronomers have spotted unusual and irregular dimming patterns on the star. The star's brightness dims unpredictably and at times way more than what's expected for your typical star. So because of the strangeness that seems to be going on with this star, it's led some to speculate that there could be alien megastructures on it. And yes, even scientists are saying it's a possibility. I know it sounds wild, but the idea is that advanced extraterrestrial civilizations might be constructing massive structures like Dyson spheres or swarms around the star. And the purpose of these hypothetical megastructures could be to intentionally block or harvest the star's light to be used as energy. This would cause the dimming effect that we see. Now, this is just one speculative hypothesis. There are others, but it's pretty cool to think that this may be a genuine sign of life out there in space. Next, let's talk about fast radio bursts. So fast radio bursts, or FRBs, are powerful fleeting signals from deep space that last just a fraction of a second, up to three seconds at the most. Scientists use radio telescopes to detect these bursts, but they're still not exactly sure what causes them. One theory is that FRBs could be born from cataclysmic events like collisions between neutron stars and black holes creating ripples in space-time that generate these intense signals. And there is also the possibility that they come from advanced extraterrestrial civilizations. What makes FRBs so strange, though, is the amount of energy that they send out. In just a millisecond, these bursts release as much energy as our sun emits in three entire days. And what's frustrating though is that they appear so sporadically, it's really tough to sit down and study them. So while there are possibilities as to what could be causing these signals, they're still pretty much a complete mystery. The Great Attractor. Now that sounds like some cosmic horror right there, and it kind of is. The Great Attractor is a massive gravitational area of the universe that's pulling our Milky Way galaxy and numerous other galaxies toward it. And uh, yeah, that's kind of scary. The Great Attractor was first identified in the 70s when scientists noticed that our Milky Way, along with other galaxies around us, weren't moving in the direction that gravitational forces alone could explain. Something massive and hidden seemed to be tugging at everything. Now, we can't directly see the Great Attractor, so astronomers have to rely on indirect observations and measurements to understand its existence. It's this unseen force of nature, very Lovecrafty. It's thought to be a concentration of both visible and dark matter, which is the invisible substance that makes up a large part of the universe. More on that later. So what happens though when we eventually get pulled into whatever this thing is. Luckily we'll be long dead, so no point really worrying about it. But a great cosmic force like this, it really does remind us how small and insignificant we are in the grand scheme of things. Next up we have space orcs. Yes, astronomers have spotted orcs in space. Orcs standing for odd radio circles. Not quite as exciting as spotting green goblin monsters in space, but also less alarming. Like, would we really be able to lay our heads down at night and sleep comfortably knowing there were orcs? 
I don't think so. So odd radio circles. These circles are strange astronomical objects and scientists aren't entirely sure what causes them. Scientists have spotted them by scanning the sky using radio telescopes. They're basically circular formations and don't match any known astronomical objects or phenomena. They're not galaxies, they're not stars or supernova, they're a total mystery and because of this they have the nickname WTF. Now, some scientists think they could be shockwaves from cosmic events, like an explosion or a collision that creates ripples that we detect as circles, but they could also come from unknown objects or phenomena we just haven't discovered yet, which is pretty cool. We got a very large space rock coming our way, a mega comet. Now, luckily, it's going to pass us by about a billion miles and won't be coming until 2031, but this thing really is massive. This thing, which was first spotted in 2021, is the biggest ever observed comet. It's 100,000 times the mass of your average comet. Uh, the comet is so big that at first astronomers categorized it as a minor planet. What's freaky about this is that there's almost definitely much larger comets whizzing around out there, and although this one luckily isn't going to make contact with us, there could be another one hurtling our way as we speak uh, that just hasn't been spotted yet. Speaking of terrifying things hurtling towards us, let's talk about Andromeda. So Andromeda, uh, the largest and nearest galaxy to our Milky Way, just happens to be on a collision course for it. One day it will collide with the Milky Way, and when the Milky Way and the Andromeda galaxies finally collide, it won't be a sudden smash. The process takes a very long time because of the vast distances between the stars, and stars are so far apart anyway that it's unlikely they'll collide individually. But the night sky will change, constellations will shift, the appearance of the night sky will be very different in the distant future. But this collision won't be happening until billions of years from now, so there's no need to really worry about it affecting life on Earth or even the distant descendants of humanity. Fingers crossed we'll have gotten our act together and we'll be like far off on other planets by the time this happens. Next, let's talk about supernovas. Supernovas are incredibly powerful explosions that occur when massive stars reach the end of their lives. Now, the good news is that the nearest star capable of going supernova is still quite a distance away from us. We're talking many light years, but what if a supernova was so powerful that even if it was super far away, it could still affect us? What damage could it cause? Well, it could potentially affect Earth's atmosphere. The explosion releases an enormous amount of energy, including intense radiation, and this radiation, in theory, could interact with Earth's atmosphere, leading to the breakdown of the ozone layer. The ozone layer is crucial for life on Earth because it absorbs the majority of the sun's harmful UV radiation. So in this situation, we'd be in pretty big trouble. We'd basically burn up like in uh, Terminator 2. Next up, we have the mystery as to what dark matter and dark energy consists of. Now, we know there's a lot of stuff in a galaxy, stars, planets, and gas, but when scientists calculate all the visible matter, it's not enough. The galaxies are spinning faster than they should be based on what we can see. Something extra is needed to explain this, and that something is called dark matter. Dark matter doesn't emit, absorb, or reflect light, which is why we can't directly see it. It's the invisible scaffolding that's holding the visible parts of the galaxy together. But the invisible part, dark matter and dark energy, makes up 95% of the known universe. And that's a lot of mystery, energy, and matter. What we see, not just on a day-to-day -day basis here on Earth, but also when we look up at the billions of stars in the sky, that's still just barely even a sliver of reality. The universe is also constantly expanding. We know it's expanding because galaxies are slowly moving away from each other, but over time, this expansion continues to speed up. Something is pushing the galaxies apart faster and faster. Scientists refer to this unseen energy as dark energy. Basically, dark matter is the invisible glue holding galaxies together, and dark energy is the mysterious repellent force making the universe expand. And 
we don't know what it is. Next on the list, we have the Tunguska event. This was a powerful explosion that occurred on June 30th of 1908 near the Tunguska River in Siberia, Russia. It's known as one of the most mysterious events in modern history. So there was a large impact or explosion that flattened about 80 million trees over an area of about 830 square miles. The shock wave from the blast was felt thousands of kilometers away. Strangely though, there was no impact crater found at the site. This led scientists to conclude that whatever caused the event must have disintegrated in the Earth's atmosphere before reaching the ground. What most scientists think is that this was caused by the airburst of a large meteoroid or comet. The energy released by the explosion was estimated to be equivalent to 10 to 15 megatons of TNT, making it about a thousand times more powerful than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Luckily, this happened in a very remote area, so only trees were affected, but that also means there weren't many witnesses. But a handful of people did report seeing a bright bluish light in the sky, accompanied by a series of thunderous noises. But of course, there's always been this question as to whether this was caused by a space rock or something else. And finally, I couldn't make this list without discussing the wow signal. The wow was a strange radio signal detected by astronomer Jerry Amon in 1977 while he was studying radio waves from space. Because he couldn't make out what the hell the signal was, he just wrote wow on the printout of the signal, thus it got that name. It was a unique and very strong radio frequency that lasted about 72 seconds and came from the direction of the constellation Sagittarius. The signal was at a frequency of 1420 megahertz, a frequency that's usually associated with hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe. What's strange is that the signal was never detected again though. Scientists naturally figured if it was a natural phenomenon, it would repeat. But from what we know, this was just a one-time thing. So is it possible this signal could have come from maybe an alien spacecraft? Yeah, it's a possibility. The WOW signal is still known as the strongest candidate for extraterrestrial radio transmission ever detected. And with all that said, I've been your host James, and I will catch you, yes you specifically, in the next video.